So I think we have a scrambled political landscape right now. There are some things that we know are a challenge for Democrats, structural problems. Uh, for example, population distribution. Uh, oftentimes, younger voters, minority voters, uh, Democratic voters uh, are clustered in urban areas. So and on the coasts. Sure. And on the coasts. And so as a consequence, you've got a situation where there are not only entire states, but also big chunks of states where uh, if we're not showing up, if we're not in there making an argument, then, uh, then we're going to lose. And we can lose badly, and that's what happened in this election. Is this just a matter of showing up, or is there something wrong with well, the argument? No, I, well, I don't think there's something wrong with the core argument that the Democratic Party has made for years. And the reason we know that is because on the individual issues that Democrats talk about, there's strong support. For example, the minimum wage. In every survey across the country, people support a higher minimum wage. Uh, there are clearly, though, uh, failures on our part to give people in rural areas or in ex-urban areas a sense day to day that we're fighting for them or connected to them. Some of it uh, is the prism through which they're seeing the political debate take place. Uh, they may know less about the work that my administration did on trying to promote collective bargaining or overtime rules, but they know a lot about the controversy around transgender, uh, transgender uh, bathrooms. Uh, because it's uh, more controversial, it attracts more attention. 